What's going on, Facebook Live? We're doing a dual live program with Instagram. Anybody have any questions? Please write in the comments below. What's going on? Hey, what's up, buddy? We appreciate you checking in with us. I'm just going to give you a little bit of some information about who we are, what we do, and what I would recommend anybody looking to, I'm doing well, man, to write their own book and to use as credibility builder to get leverage, to get an audience, and to tell their story so people get to know, like, and trust you. Vilma, thanks for checking in. What we're talking about today is reverse engineering your book. In fact, we're actually going to be talking about reverse engineering your business and then reverse engineering your life. Any questions, just comment in there. But my name is Mike Fallett, and I help entrepreneurs write and publish best-selling books, and then we teach them how to use it as the ultimate marketing tool to grow their dream business. A lot of people I'm talking to will start their book. They'll get it started. Hi, Vilma. And they'll never finish it. Statistics show 97% of people who start a book never finish it. And that's the reason why I tr created Dream Starters. Because we're all about getting your damn book done. We get it done for you. We have a ghostwriter, either me or two other people, will write the book for you. And then we teach you how to market it. Of course, I interview you and I hear your story and I turn your story, your thoughts, your words into an actual book. Tell me something that has encouraged you in your work. I would say fear. Fear encourages me every day. I'm afraid to fail. I'm afraid to be a failure for my mom and dad. I'm afraid to not have that dream life come true. I'm afraid to be 90 years old and not accomplish half the things I want to accomplish. I'm afraid my health will decline before I have the chance of doing it. I'm afraid of having that one opportunity and it disappearing, so I take action on everything I do. Hope that answers your question. What changed my life a couple years ago was me reverse engineering my life with, a, with an obituary that I wrote. I wrote a dream obituary, how I wanted to be remembered after I left. Got to turn the fan up. If this fan gets a little too noisy. Start sweating through my shirt here. But what I did was I started to reverse engineer my life. I wrote my dream obituary, how I wanted to be remembered. And so I actually wrote it down here in my book, Dream Starter, a bestseller. You can pick it up today on my website at dreamstartersuniversity.com. But when I wrote my dream obituary, it did change my life completely. It made me realize that I was on the completely wrong path. And so I started to make adjustments and find my way and started to excel in things that I actually cared about. So I'll read my obituary here in a little bit. But ever since I wrote my first obituary a couple years ago, things started to actually fall into the line. I finished the book. I got speaking gigs. I started to get clients. And I started to actually increase sales. And I started to get a business going. And it all started because I wrote a dream obituary, how I wanted to die. Sounds crazy. Love this book. Thank you, Vilma. Ever since then, I take that and I apply it to everything I want to do. So not just how I want to be remembered, but everything that I want to be, everything I want to accomplish. Whether it is with a meeting, whether it's with a client, whether it's with uh, something that for entertainment purposes, maybe it's that dream vehicle that I want to get. I reverse engineer how I want that to be accomplished. And I even think about sales or the money coming in each month. All right, if I need to make four grand a month, how am I going to do that? I need to do this. If I need to make an extra 100 bucks a month, how am I going to do that? I'm going to do this. It's all about reverse engineering, but you have to figure out what you want in, 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 the, very, uh, in the very end and then work yourself back. What's up, Daniel? Thanks for tuning in, man. You've heard my speech before about writing your dream obituary. It's helped me so much. And so when I take that, what I've learned from the business or from my life, and I apply it to the business part, I even take that and I put it towards a book. So people always get lost whenever they're writing a book. Maybe they get confused of where they're taking it. Maybe they 
don't think their story is important enough to actually share. What happens is people forget that their book is only a tool. Their book is only a tool to get what you want. So you have to figure out what you're trying to accomplish. Some people are trying to only get speaking gigs. Now you want to brand yourself as the expert, the go-to person in a particular field that has a demand that you can take to an organization and say, hey, I am the best-selling author of this. It would be a no-brainer for you to hire me because what you're looking for is exactly what I have to offer. So if you're looking for speaking gigs, remember, it all starts with the title of the book to what you write about. So you can give this book to somebody and say, listen, I'm qualified. I know you're not going to read this book. But since I'm a best-selling author in this field, and you're looking for somebody who's an expert in this field, you have the ability to hire me right now. Usually my fee is 750 bucks per session, but for you, I'll give it to you for free this first time. Afterwards, you're gonna have to start paying me. Create value for yourself. If you're trying to get clients, which is really most of my clients are trying to do, they're trying to get clients in a service. I'm all about service type businesses. If you can have a service, you're offering value to somebody out there. What's going on, on Facebook? Anybody on Facebook have any questions so far? Sweating like crazy because the I didn't put the AC on. I got the fan going here. Give some tips for new writers from your side. From your side. Give some tips for the new writers from your side. I don't know what that means. If you can clarify a little bit. Tips from my side. You want to write what you're passionate about, what, write what you know, write your story, be authentic as possible. Statistics show, another one, that 10% of people or less are going to read your entire book. You want to make this such a fast, clear, concise book so people can pick it up and grab all the details that you need without reading the whole book. They can skim through it and still get to know you. Business is all about relationships. The reason why second generation and third generation businesses have a better chance of success is because relationships have already been built up. As a startup business, you have no relationships. And if you come from no entrepreneurial type family like I do, you have to establish all the relationships yourself. Along the way, you're going to meet so many scumbags. You're going to be deterred from even creating relationships. We have to fight through that. So a book will help you create relationships. Remember, your book is a tool to gather people so people can see who you are, what you have to offer, get to know you, like you, and trust you. And for you to accomplish your goal, which is to get that speaking gig, to get that client, to get noticed, to get an audience, to give value before asking for anything. That's what I recommend. Now, a lot of people are going to start this. Anybody watching us on Instagram Live right now? or Facebook Live right now, or even in the replay, a lot of you are going to start your book, but never finish. It's just how it goes. It sucks. It's such an, it's a really difficult to finish a book if you're not driven to do it. A book does not make you money right away, but it's an indirect revenue source down the road. Every day, people are signing up on my email chain, getting a free copy of the book. They're getting to know me, like me, and trust me because it is my words. It is my story. If they have anything in common with me, maybe they'll listen to me later down the road in a video or in one of these or on other parts of social media or in person or in my next book that's coming out. So it all begins with a book and your book begins with the end goal. So think about your end goal and reverse engineering. I'm going to read you my dream obituary. Anybody on Facebook? Anybody have any questions? Uh, to encourage, I'll, I'll give you a few more right afterwards. Here's my dream obituary. Michael Fallon, born August 10, 1984. Yes, my birthday's coming up. A successful entrepreneur, author, and public speaker. By the way, when I wrote this, I was not a successful entrepreneur. I was not an author, and I wasn't a speaker. I just want to let you know this is written in three years ago, three and a half years ago, died last night when he ran inside a burning building 
to save a thousand dogs from danger. He is survived by his family, his friends, his dog, and his wife. The only person to see the full potential of his hopeless romantic side. I'm not married, by the way. Mike was known to put it all on the line for what he believed was right and for the thrill of the adventure. He traveled extensively in his Jeep Wrangler and was able to see the world. He was best known for helping thousands of businesses thrive and succeed via Dream Starters University. I only had two clients at this time. Mike was a fighter till the end and was and never lost his thrill for life. He loved riding motorcycles and writing three chord songs on his guitar. He contrib contributed great amounts to Animal Friends, Make-A-Wish, and many other organizations. Mike was a great friend and family man. He would do anything for them. One of his greatest achievements was being asked to provide input on business development and job creation by President Trump way back in the year 2017. This was written way before he was elected president. And yes, I did put President Trump. Mike was rushed to the hospital wearing a scapular. Anybody know what a scapular is? It means whenever you, you're wearing it, anytime you die wearing it, you're guaranteed into heaven. He was wearing a scapular and a Tom Petty shirt. His last words were, God, I hope this becomes a bestseller. So that's pretty much it. I'm a, anybody there? There you are. If you are confused in life, I tell people this all the time, write your dream obituary. You're going to be able to reverse engineer your life and see how you want to be remembered. And if it is on path to what you're doing right now, or if, it's, if you're on track, then you're doing something right. If that person that you want to be remembered as is not who you are right now, then you make adjustments. You make changes. And same with the book. The book is another way to, to gauge if your life is interesting, if it's creative, if you offer enough value to people. If you get lost within your book, remember the main mission of it. What are you trying to do? Tell your story in a creative, entertaining way. Creative. Write your story in a creative and entertaining way and give value to establish, establish yourself as the expert in a particular field. That's the key to a book. You become a bestseller, then you use that as a marketing tool to get you to the next level. Write another book, get enough clients, get enough people talking about it to the next level. That's how all the professionals do it. What made you, just, what made you want to write a book and when did you decide to write a book? What made me want to write a book was in 2008, I started writing every day at 5 in the morning. Talk about my thoughts, talk about my ideas, just start get me going. Because we had a little business at that point, and it was me and a partner, business partner. I started just clarifying my thoughts. I became quite a, I would say, a good writer. It wasn't great. I still don't think I'm a great, great, great writer like Stephen King. I, I became good, good enough that I could fly through things, though. And get my thoughts down. And when I started realizing that I, I that I was becoming good at it, and it took me two, I would say a year and a half, two years of me just writing all the time, I became pretty good at it. I started to really enjoy it. And if I didn't write, I felt like something was lacking in my life. And I knew that I would turn it into a book another someday. All my thoughts, all my ideas, I just didn't know where to begin. I did a lot of research and I started to figure out how do people become a bestseller when I'm obviously a better writer than this person. How can that person be a bestseller and not me? Did a little research, figured out that through leverage, positioning, and timing, you can become a bestseller. And all I had to do was figure out what I wanted to write about and that I could write about at any time. And I knew that businesses, entrepreneurship in general, was what I'm truly passionate about. So I started putting two and two together, and I knew that with social media becoming so powerful, that I needed a way to interact with people and give them something before they even knew anything about me. Put my thoughts down on a piece of paper, asked my friend who was an editor, 
she edited it, finished everything out, popped it on Amazon, used the the algorithm, I guess you could say, it, and uh, turned it into a bestseller. Soon as I did that, it was easier to get clients. It was e easier to get speaking gigs. I realized that if I would have done a book eight years prior, it would save me thousands and thousands of dollars, and thousands and thousands of hours. A book, whether you write about the business or not, is going to help you no matter what. A book used in the right way will really propel you in front of people above and beyond everybody else. Sorry about that. Text message. Thanks so much, man. If you ever have any questions, I really appreciate the kind words there. Anybody have any questions on Facebook? We're doing Instagram Live. Uh, also, anybody? Doesn't look like it on there. But if you're watching this in a replay, if you need help writing your book, once again, we're Dream Starters University. We help entrepreneurs write and publish best-selling books. Then we teach them how to use as the ultimate marketing tool. Anybody watching this can go on my website right now and get a free copy of the book. You'll be able to see Lloyd Williams, a client of mine, just turned into a bestseller. You can type in his book right now, Table of Dreams, on Amazon. It might still be number one. We turned him into a bestseller yesterday. So congratulations, Lloyd. I highly recommend you go into LloydWilliamsPhD.com and getting a copy of his book. But that's what we do for people. It's people who have a story to share, no matter who you are, you have something to teach another person. And let's just say you're not born with connections. You don't have that front line of customers or relationships. A book will help you even out the score. It gets you in front of enough people that if you use your skills and your personality, you might be able to close deals. You might be able to build relationships. You might be able to meet that next right person to put you in the next room to make that next part of your business come true. I have a meeting here in a, a few minutes. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me at mfallet at dreamstarterspgh.com. Contact me on Facebook or Instagram, however you want to do it. And uh, we'll be doing this tomorrow. I have a couple other little things I want to show you tomorrow. But thanks for watching, guys. And Farouk, if you need anything else, reach out to me, guys. All right? We'll see you tomorrow, right around probably noon, I'm thinking tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.